this light heavyweight fight. Born in Poland, Zoszynski is 33 years old. Seven years the elder of the Croatian, who is taller and will have the reach advantage. With the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holy professional record, eight wins, two losses, standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 93 kilos. Fighting out of Zadar, Croatia, Goran Raljish. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. 20 wins, 11 losses, one draw. Standing six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, 93.5 kilos. Fighting out of Temecula, California, USA, via Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Kristoff, the Polish experiment, Soszynski. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, our referee. This fight at 205 pounds. Ariani, Shondella, our entire crew, here in Oberhausen, Germany. Set to get things started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on. Here we go. White trunks, Soshinsky. Red and white trunks for Relyic. The powerful left kick is what Soshinsky is prepared for. Southpaw against Southpaw. Good inside leg kick by the Polish experiment. Interesting that this fight is already playing out the way Relyic expected. When Soshinsky was rushing, and Relyich trying to stay on the outside and counter. Head kick, kick by Relyich. And now with the right. Nice leg kick by Relyich. Both men more than willing to engage here early. Soshinsky light on his feet. Pushing forward with the combination. Big kick by the Croatian and a counter left. A nice body kick there by Soshinsky. Double jab by Relyic. That one checked. Pace starting to pick up a little bit now, Joe. Relyic. Relyic appears to be cut, Mike, over the right eye. Relyic again looking for the body with that left leg. Kristoff winging those hooks. Yeah, he tightens up and, and you know... Oh, he could connect again. Relyich looks for the answer. Relyich wiped his eyes. Soshinsky chasing down the Croatian. Kristoff stalking his opponent. Relyich going for the takedown. Good takedown defense by Soshinsky. Well, you know, Soshinsky has spent so much time training with Dan Henderson, training with Babalu Sabral and Mark Munoz and great grapplers. So his takedown defense is outstanding. Spent a lot of time for this fight tonight with Mark Munoz at the Rain Training Center in California. sazinski has got double underhooks here, pressed up against the cage, but he's got a he's got to move his back away from the cage to take advantage of it. And Goddard separates him, recognizes, and we continue. Under two minutes on the clock. Relyich leads with the hook. That was a nice leg kick inside there by Sazinski. Sazinski just really winds up with these shots. Got to be careful getting caught as he's coming in. Again, another kick by. 
Szczesinski, big, powerful, light heavyweight. As you said, he used to be a heavyweight, he used to be huge. He was a bodybuilder at one point in time. He was, he was Ivan the Smashing Machine at one time. As a pro wrestler, and he's down. Very nicely done by Goran Relic. And he's trying to pass over that right leg. Right now he's in half guard. Well but he's got to be down. careful, though. He's got to be careful. The Kimura, look at it. He's diving on it already. That is Sosinski's favorite technique. Goran Relic is in a, he's got a bad situation here. As long as Sosinski has control of that arm and has him tied up in half guard, Relic is in a lot of trouble. This is his number one specialty technique. He's got to pop that arm out. He's so strong. If he gets a hold and he's got he's got the control, Relic has to keep his hand attached to his inner thigh and keep his leg pressed firmly up against his forearm to keep Szczesinski from pulling it out up and around behind his back. Because as soon as Szczesinski gets it out, that's his thing. So Szczesinski won his first two UFC fights by Kimura. Yeah, Relic has got to hang in here. He's got 25 seconds to keep this from happening. But if Szczesinski, if someone lets him know how much time is left, he's going to furiously try to yank this thing out and up. 15. See how Relic, if you saw there in the other angle, his hand is grabbing his short. See that? See how his hand's underneath there like that? That's to try to protect that arm. He wants to make sure that arm does not get yanked out. And it looks like he's done so. He has done so because, you know, he heard the slaps. He knows it's 10 seconds to go. And Szczesinski couldn't pull it off. Nicely done by Goran Relic. He had to know that that was, I mean, he's trained for it. He knows that's Szczesinski's favorite technique, so his defense was excellent. Well, if Szczesinski knows the powerful left kick is coming, Relic knows the Kimura attempt is coming. Absolutely, and let's take a look earlier. This is the left hand that rocked him. Watch how Szczesinski leads with the right, and boom, comes across with that left. Cracked Relic. Let's take a look at it another time. Very nicely done by Szczesinski. Leads him with the right, steps over with the He's left, and connects. He's got nothing else on you, okay? You're blocking everything. You're doing fantastic. You're doing fantastic. More offense. When his back is closer to the cage, okay, I need you to blitz, okay? Blitz when, he's, when his back's to the cage, okay? Got it? Blitz. Blitz when his back is in here, in this area. Looks very relaxed, Szczesinski in his corner. Yeah, excellent first round. Goran Relic got the takedown, though, and wound up on top at the end. Okay, round two, here we go. Let's do this. Round two. Smile on the face of both men as they return to battle. Looking to snap that jab. Caught him with the left again. Set up the kick with the hands. The only time we've really seen Szczesinski uh, outclass on the feet was against Brandon Vera. And down again. Very nicely done. Timed perfectly yes. by Relic. Yeah. Waited for Szczesinski to commit to a combination and, and use the momentum Mike, against him, Joe. If you note Szczesinski's left hand, look how he immediately goes to wrist control. Right. And that's what he likes to do. When he rolls his right shoulder over, that's when you know he's trying to lock up that Kimura. And he will do it on either side. There's Again, the wrist control. Yep, he's going for wrist control. And sometimes he will bait with the left to go for the right. And he's got an overhook on the right-hand side, as I said that. If you look at his right overhook, if he can control that arm, that's the one he'll try to attack. But that is his number one technique as far as submissions go. I mean, he has other submissions in his arsenal, no doubt. But that's what he loves. His go-to move. That's his go-to move, Joe. He finished Shane Prim and Brian Stan in his first two UFC fights by Kimura. Three and a half on the clock here in the second. Again, he's got wrist control. He's holding on to it, but he's not doing anything with it. Now he's got that arm trap. No. Nope. The thing is, you know, he's hesitant about committing to an attack because he's worried about losing position. Right now he's in guard. He's defending himself. If he throws his legs up and tries to attack with an armbar or a triangle, he might possibly get passed. He's holding on to it again. He just needs to go for it. Yeah, you see, he's pushing it down. He tried to step over with that left leg. Gordon Relich, though, is very aware of what's going on. So they stand him up. 
All right, Szczynski's so got to know that that takedown is coming now, but he's still standing very straight and high. Relich slipped under and took him down here in round two. It's a good solid jab by Szczynski. There's that kick by Relich. That time, Szczynski saw the takedown attempt possibility coming. And now he's trying to take Relich down. Gives up on it. And you, you hear his corner yelling out elbow. They want him to separate with an elbow on the break. And Relich turns it around. Now, these are the type of battles, Mike. This is sort of like the management of energy here. Each fighter has to figure out when to burst, when to make a move. This is the one of the most grueling aspects of MMA. It's kind of boring if you don't know what's going on, but the battle of the clinch game against the cage is one of the most grueling aspects. This is what really wears guys down. So Shinsky trying to lock up the body of Relich. Had double underhooks for a second. And Randy Couture has broke many a man's will in this position. You know, I mean, there's a lot of technical stuff going on in this, in this clinch game as well. I mean, Randy is the master at blasting knees to the legs and thighs and constantly hitting on guys and making them work. And as you said, snapping their will. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of, fa of standing guys up or moving guys and separating them from this position because there's so much going on here. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of boring, you know, when you're watching it, but this boring stuff has to happen for one guy to get a dominant advantage. Shots to the midsection. I mean, look, Goddard is thinking about separating them because you hear the crowds boo, but this is part of MMA. I and mean, this is really what it's all about. And they've gone back and forth, Exactly. Joe. And one guy eventually will get the better of this. Now Szczynski is going Randy Couture style. And this is what Randy always does. Makes guys work. Blast those knees. Hurts you. Makes you breathe heavy. And Goran Relic recognizing that is trying to get back at him because he doesn't like those. And Goddard decides to separate him. 20 seconds left in the round. Head kick by Relich. Relich again goes for that takedown. Stuffed. So Shinsky pushes him right back up against the cage. Those knees again. And those knees will pay off in that final round. I mean, the more he lands, especially that, that same spot he keeps hitting on the inside of the right thigh, it will slow down the takedown attempt and the shot of Goran Relich. Слушай, слушай, не слышь, что ты слышишь, что ты слышишь, что ты слышишь, что ты you try to use the Superman punch, try to use your combinations. And there's a nice body kick by Goran Relich and staying on the outside, that's what he wants, and here's the takedown. And that was nicely done because he attacked and then he got Christoph Szczynski to commit to trying to get back at him, and that's when he made that takedown. I think that was for you, those kisses. Come Both back. of them, actually. All okay, three of them. You're the man, dude. Thank you. you. Thanks, you friend. Let's do this. Five minutes remains in the fight. Active jab by both men. Very close fight, but you got to take those takedowns into account. Other than that, I mean, Shazinski's been landing some real good shots standing up. Christoph finds himself in the midst of another big-time battle. Oh, man, he's never in a boring fight. Guy's awesome. That's the way he likes it. Yeah, nice leg kick there by Relic. And there's the takedown attempt, but very telegraphed. Last couple have been stuffed by Soshinsky. Yeah, and a lot of that has to do with those knees. Yep. The knees that he landed to the thigh in the clinch have slowed down the shot. Soshinsky may try to spin to the back, Mike. I see him moving his hips around. If he can get past that right arm of Relich's, if Relich moves that right arm, he may very well spin to the back. Or he may go for a choke. 
Yeah, he spun to the back. I saw it coming. And sometimes guys just move a certain way, and you can tell that's what they're doing. When you... Now he's going to try up oh, big shots. He's got the back. He's got that underhook on the left-hand side, and he would like an overhook on the right. Relic rolls over for a knee. He's got to stay heavy on that left leg, Christoph Szczynski. But Relic, as he's committing to that leg, leaves himself open for punches, and now he had to abandon it because of it. Excellent job by Christoph Szczynski. Christoph's got a real good shot here. And Relic is uh, trying to control that wrist. He doesn't want to get bombed on. Christoph's hit him with some big punches from here. There's another one. And again. Those are getting through. And he's going to go for a hammer fist on the other side. You see him look for that. He may try to open him up with a knee and then sneak over the top with that hammer fist. Again, and again, Relic rolls for that knee bar, but as he's doing that, he's committing two arms to one leg. And when you do that, you lose your ability to defend yourself with those arms. And Szczynski is going to move into side control. He's in half guard here. If you could just kick his leg up and over, he's out and in side control. Drop his left hip down and kick his right leg over, and he's in side control. Another shot. Posturing up. Yeah. Standing up. So Szczynski. Relyuk pushes him aside, but look at how exhausted Goran Relyuk is. And he's is. taking a beating, man. His face is really puffy right here. So Shinsky is going for that takedown, but Shazinski defending well. He just took a big, deep breath. Grueling final round. He doesn't want to lose a takedown here and take away all the good work he's done earlier in the round. He's going to go for a standing Kimura, Mike. He's got that right wrist control, the wrist control rather, on the left hand with his right. And he's going to yank it up and out. Nice knee to the body there by Szczynski. Szczynski is still going for that Kimura, Mike. And if he can get his leg in between the two legs of Goran Relic, he may drop down and try to throw him over with this. The only problem with that is right now his back is up against the cage. If he can pull that arm out and get his left leg in between the two legs... All right, he's let go of the... No, he hasn't let it go. He's got it locked up again. Now he's got his leg in between. But he can't do it standing. Ah, see... Oh, Relyuk is very tired here. Wow. So Shinsky. Shinsky with a nice jab there. Relyuk digging deep. And he got Again, caught on the way in. Jab. He looks at the clock. So Shinsky. Here comes a knee. Senses the ability oh, to look finish this fight. Relyuk very aware that knee was coming and dropped down to avoid it. Foot was caught in the shorts momentarily. And he's passing him. He's going to get inside control. Just drop down and he's there. Nicely done. szczynski has got to avoid those knees. There he does. Look how he shifts his hip instinctively to avoid the half guard. He can finish Relyuk here. Relyuk is in big trouble, Mike. Big shots again by the Polish experiment. He's very, very tired. And still he tries to regain half guard, throws his legs over and does. He got half guard. But Szczynski can finish with the Kimura from half guard. If Szczynski can lock a hold of that left arm, he's in position to do it. Under 30 seconds to remain in this fight. He flattens him out. What he wants to do, Mike, he wants to get an underhook on that side where his right arm is over the top of the left arm. There he goes. See how he's shifting to an underhook? He's going to try to... Not enough time wow, to go. He's going to try to ground and pound him. Nice! Hammer Finishing fist. with a flurry. So Shinsky, one oh, last combination. This... Nice. And we go to the judges' scorecard. Very nice. Excellent third round for Christoph Soshinsky. That was a great fight. After 19 minutes plus a pure battle with Bonner, he goes 15 minutes with Relyuk. And here we see Soshinsky at the end was just dominant, just dropping bombs on him. Throwing the legs to the side, slamming him down with hammer fists. Relyuk just all oh, heart, trying to stay alive here. And Shazinski just relentless with his punishing punches and hammer fists. What a great fight. Kristoff always enjoys the battle. As we mentioned earlier, he brings the fight. And here he is involved in another fight. That goes back and forth here this evening in Oberhausen.
both men able to score lots of points. Who earned more? Let's find out. Official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Christoph the Polish Experiment Zazinski! Dominant! I'm here with the winner, Christoph Zazinski. First of all, man, what a fight! That was, that was an awesome fight to watch. That boy's tough. That boy's one tough SOB. He got, you, he got you down a couple of times. Were you worried that those were going to possibly steal the round in the judges' eyes? I really was. I really was. You never know what the judges are going to score. I felt like I had him standing. He took me down, but that third round, I think, sealed the deal for me. There was a couple of times where you are threatening with that Kimura. I know that's your signature move. You were looking for it. I want that baby so bad. I love that thing. Try it from everywhere. He's just really strong. Very, very tough guy. It looked like you almost finished him in the third round, but he gutted it out. Yeah, you know, he's one tough, one tough Croatian, man. All right, so I'll give it props to him. Well, congratulations. Awesome fight. Christoph Szczynski, ladies and gentlemen.